Greetings everybody, hope you're doing good, hope you're doing great, I hope you are doing grand. Today we are talking about Inquisitor Martyr, which is a Warhammer 40,000 game. To more, more specifically, we are talking about the character creation and the different characters and backgrounds within the game. There is three different character types, there is the Crusader, the Assassin and the Psyker. Each character group has their own backgrounds within the game, three different subclasses as it were. And today we are talking about the Assassin background character class. Now, there is three different types of Assassins. You have the Infiltrator, the Sniper, and the Eradicator. All three different expertise, all three different types of Assassins have the same basic traits. And these basic traits are Adrenaline Resource, Assassin Inquisitors must spend adrenaline points to dodge, use exotic weapons and armor skills, and adrenaline is regained by wounding or killing enemies. They have exotic equipment. Due to their status and training, Inquisitors with a Death Cult background can use even the most exotic war gear from the Imperial Arsenals. Death Cult background is just the Assassins. And Dodge. Assassin Inquisitors can use their dodge ability to evade incoming attacks regardless of the armor that they wear. Dodge is a specific game mechanic limited only to the Assassins. It allows them to do different types of dodge, backflips and tumbles to dodge attacks. Each different Assassin starts with different weaponry and they all have their own initial starting perk but they can all use each other's different weaponry as you choose. So, starting off with the Infiltrator, the Infiltrator uses Death Cult Blades and Assassin Power Sword. The Infiltrator has perfected the art of carving flesh with her two Death Cult Blades and two-handed Power Sword. These deadly close combat weapons can launch a flurry of swift attacks that deal powerful killing blows. She also has the Stealth Bodysuit, which gives her chameleon-like abilities combined with speed and agility of an Assassin Inquisitor, which means she can be invisible for a limited amount of time. So she's very good at going invisible and attacking groups of enemies in melee combat. Her initial starting perk is also Evasive Ambush. She gets plus 3 dodge for every surprise kill for 10 seconds, stacking. So if you can go invisible, get behind a group of enemies and do lots and lots of damage to a group of enemies very quickly, you can get a massive amount of dodge, which is really, really good. So she's got very hard to hit, therefore very hard to kill. Second up, we have the Sniper. The Sniper has a Sniper Rifle and Auto Pistol. The Sniper is the master of killing enemies from afar, with extremely powerful Sniper shots. She can aim for weak spots, crippling and disarming the targets, and the Auto Pistol is capable for close range work as a backup weapon. She also has the Hololithic Armor, which is another ancient and extremely rare type of armor, somewhat similar to the infamous Eldar Hollow Fields. The wearer can create holographic projections about herself to confuse enemies and evade fire. Her starting perk is Run and Gun, and it's plus 20% range damage when moving. The bonus lasts for 2 seconds after a stop. So she has the same starting perk as the Tactical Crusader. It basically means she can move and shoot, gaining increased amounts of damage. And third off, we have the Eradicator. The Eradicator uses a shotgun and a sniper rifle. They revel in butchery at point-blank range, turning multiple targets into flechette-ridden meat. Or, they punch gaping holes into their enemies with solid slugs for targets that are out of reach for the shotgun. They can use the sniper rifle. They also have the Fabricated Distortion Armor. This relic armor is of an extreme rarity, almost unheard of outside of the Caligari sector. It uses ancient Xenotech to give its wearer incredible speed for a short time by distorting the flow of time. So they use shotguns and sniper rifles so they can fight at long or close range and they also get a massive speed boost off of their armor. And their ability is Tactical Mastery. They, swapping weapons reduces skill cooldown by 50% and reloads ammo. 
So by swapping your weapons over, you automatically reload and you reduce the skill cooldowns by 50% of all of your abilities. So she's very, very good at running in to do lots of sh shotgun damage and running out to hit stuff with a sniper rifle, then back in to do shotgun damage. So that is the assassin classes within Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Martyr. So I will catch you all later, guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing great. And I will see you all later on.